Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel. Uh, in our last video, we'll put a link below to our last video, we gave you an introduction to the iTerraCare terahertz blower. And once again, this is a very permeable, cell permeable tool, it goes deep into the body and the terahertz frequency is very healing to cells. But to, in this video, I wanna just give you a very simple trick. And I have a, uh, what's called a photobiomodulation treatment protocol. It's cost about $2,500. This is a combination system. I'm gonna just show you a quick a video that we did on it. Bringing you a new technology that looks bizarre. So welcome to the universe of photobiomodulation. What is photobiomodulation? This is actually a, a unique, very, uh, technology and simply okay so when you go into our youtube channel you can just search for on our channel for the word photobiomodulation we have several videos but this is the v-light system this is the intranasal device and this is their helmet i actually use this helmet here which is better has way more lights and two different bandwidth frequencies but they both are decent. Um, this is called the alpha, the neuro alpha system. It's working at 10 hertz, 10 hertz. They have a gamma system, which is at 40 hertz, which is usually recommended more for plaque. And then they have a dual system, but it's very expensive. So I just wanted to get a, a view of what this is. This is recommended for traumatic brain injury, brain repair, cellular brain repair. Okay, so $2,500. The way it works is the intranasal goes up and hits the mucosal line and goes straight through into the brain. I always uh, give the uh, comparison of somebody who does cocaine. We know it goes to the brain. I mean, you know, that's, that hits the nose, hits the mucosal membrane, and boom, straight into the brain. Well, the light therapy is the same way. It just hits the, goes, it's a gateway to the brain. The other way to get to the brain, I learned from ear insufflation ozone. Ozone therapy is electrified oxygen and it, heal, it helps heal infections. So if you have an ear infection, you put a stethoscope in your ear, shoot ozone in your ear, it's a, it's a miracle. It works very quickly. Also, it's, it goes into the brain. It treats the brain through the ears. So we have through the, you know, it makes sense. You have here, here, and here getting into the brain. Now you go through the skull, you need something that's gonna cut through. Then the light helmets actually only go a cup, an inch. But the theory is that it'll treat a layer and kind of soaks down, soaks down. But it doesn't go very deep. This goes 11.6 inches. So if you're treating around the skull, it's actually getting through and starting to go into your brain. Now, I don't know exactly for every area of the body, given the dense skull, what the actual permeability is, but I have used this and it's quite permeable, but guess what? Here's the trick. You can simply put it on the lower speed and do intranasal terahertz frequency, sorry. It'll just like intranasal light therapy, intranasal photobiomodulation. Just put it right there and it'll hit the mucosal line and go into the brain. You can do the ears, you can do the ears, just like an ozone ear insufflation, get to the brain and go through the optic nerve, go through the eyes, it will hit the optic nerve, go all three directions. This one mimics intranasal photobiomodulation. It's gonna to get to the brain. All around the brain is gonna to get to the brain like this is the helmet. And then through the ears, just like an ear insufflation ozone, you're gonna to get to the, not only the ears themselves and the station tube and all that, but into the brain and then through the eyes. Very simple trick, 350, it's worth trying. Will I still use photobiomodulation? Probably yes, because every tool has a sort of different dimension. They're like different flavors, different spices. So near infrared has its value. But if you don't have a lot of funds and you don't wanna spend 2,500, I've Heard stories of people coming out of dementia and Alzheimer's using this tool. So it's definitely worth a shot if you're having brain issues, traumatic brain injury, dementia, just cognitive decline, you name it. Now also, please look at our whole program. 
brain issues are complicated. There's gut brain. So always look at your colon health and make sure you're not leaking a bunch of toxins up to your brain. And then the thyroid. In our next video, we're actually going to show you a trick for the thyroid. But the thyroid, if it's deficient and low, can give you brain fog and confusion. So you can use this tool for the thyroid also, which we'll cover in our next video. So if you have any questions, please contact me, Andrew, at bluesywater.com. Thank you.